Hi. So, as promised, me and my girl Catherine here, we're coming at you with as many of the UFC cards as we can possible, and uh, this one definitely seemed fitting because UFC 261. It's one of the biggest fight cards of the year. We got three title fights on it. Um, so, just out the gate, we're gonna run down the main card, right? Yes. But I want to know who are you most excited for? Don't give me the full detail. Just like, just as a fight fan, who are you the most excited for uh, on this fight card? You know what? I think Zhang Wei Li versus Rose Namajunas because that's the one that I can't predict at all. I, I really have no idea. I think it could go, I really think it could go either way. I feel like there's such equals. Absolutely. You know, obviously I don't feel the same with Valentina and well, I don't, I want to say obviously, but I think a lot of people can see the discrepancy. You, you said, don't no, go for sure. Stars, no, you're good. You're good. No, it just, that's, I mean, I'm in the same boat, man. Like, um, the, the main card, the, the main event excites me. Usman, Usman Masvidal, um, Shevchenko, she's just a monster. Uh, so, but this Zhang Wei Li and Rose Namajunas, man, it's, they're both just some heavy hitters, absolutely heavy hitters, and it's going to be an interesting ass fight. Um, but before we get into the three main title fights, let's give uh, some quick love. I was trying to pull it up, um, but my 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 dang laptop's being dumb. I can't pull up the preliminary card. Okay. Um, but you were saying that it was originally supposed to be in um, Singapore. Singapore, Yeah, right? so there were a lot of fighters. I was like, surely I, I have to know some of these fighters on the early prelims or the prelims, and I maybe recognized one or two. Um, yeah, this event was originally supposed to be in Singapore, but because of COVID, weird stuff, and disagreements with the UFC and Singapore government, whatever, it didn't happen. But, I, but it's the same fighters, so I yes. think that's what's going on there. All right, man. Well, anyways, uh, I mean, is there anybody specific sh that we need to shout out? Is there any of these? Uh, I know, I know, you're big on the uh, the female fighters. Is there anybody we should be looking out for? Well, I mean, uh, I, 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 the only other fight really, aside from the title fights, that I'm kind that's kind of on my radar would be uh, Uriah Hall versus Chris Weidman, just because Chris Weidman was uh, or is the former 185 champ. You know, he beat yes. uh, Anderson Silva, so there's always going to be some excitement there. So I, I'm Absolutely. looking forward to that fight. Uh, other than that, like I said, I really just am not familiar uh, with anybody else. <laughs> Fair enough, man. Uh, well, I mean, shout out to all of them. Obviously, it's a big deal for them. Um, shout but out. We are on a we are on a bit of a time crunch, so we're really just going to talk about this. Uh, so, oh, finally, I pulled it up. Um, we have plenty to talk about with those that those three title fights. Oh my gosh, I cannot honestly. believe when I heard that, I was like, <gasps> I was like, what? I was like, how far away from Jacksonville am I? Huh? Could Honestly, I swing that? Man, <laughs> you you were definitely yeah. closer than me. <sighs> um, but uh good good golly, Miss Molly, this mm. this main this main card is absolutely silly. Uh so just quick, quick get into it. Let's go, let's go from the bottom. So we got Anthony Smith uh going up against um this young cat. What's his name again? It's like Crease or Cray or Kate, I, what do I say? I didn't see. I didn't know. I, I wasn't familiar with him. But Anthony Smith again. That's always going to be. That's light heavyweight, isn't it? Light heavyweight. Yes. Light that's light all. Heavyweight. Anthony Smith is is savage as Gen Z. The Gen Zers say he's savage. So that'll be. He, he that'll is be a, good. He is a heavy hitter. Mm. I mean, he is. I think he's on a. He might be on a two fight skid, if I remember correctly. Um, he's been kind of in and out with, I think, injuries and just kind of trying to figure out where he lays in, in the top 10. But, I mean, he is number six. Um, 
if you remember that he, he fought John Jones and just recently it was the same ordeal where there was an illegal hit. They gave him an option to keep fighting mm. or, or he would have won. It, it was a uh, Aljamain, Aljamain Sterling. It was that. Fight. Yeah. The yeah. same, the same idea where the, the illegal hit happened and they're like the ref, but it wasn't as bad. So they gave and him Anthony, Smith, kept, he kept fighting, he continued to fight. Oh, okay. And then, and then Jones put him away. Um, and then I think he has fought once or twice since then. So he's a little bit on, on the downside, Jim crew. He's fresh to the, to the top 15. I think it's going to be an interesting fight. Um, I mean, Anthony Smith is a brawler. I don't know too much about this crew kid, but. I wonder I if him. there are any uh, title implications. Whoever wins this fight, would they be next to fight uh, Jan? Can't think of his last name. Polish, you know. Yeah, Jan Blahovich. Um, right. I, I would have to pull up the rankings. Yeah, but, um, I can't think know, of that. Go, off the go ahead and keep the card on. And let me pull up the rankings. Um, while you're pulling so up got, the rankings, oh, you did it quicker than I thought. It's all good. I was gonna fill uh, the dead time. I would say you need one more fight. Mm. I would say you need one more fight because next week is Dominic Reyes is fighting and he's number three. <gasps> and yes, a lot and of people think Dominic Reyes won that fight with John Jones. Dominic Reyes won the fight against John Jones, but then he got absolutely bodied by Jan. So oh, right. it's so he's coming off a loss. I can't remember who he's fighting. I think it's I think it's number two, Alexander Rakic. Uh, so two two versus three is going against each other. Glover Teixeira is fighting Jan Blahovic in September. Oh, that's so, right. That's right. I for, I totally forgot about that. Okay. I would there say this fighter, uh, Anthony Smith and Jim Crew, uh, are going to fight against uh, probably Tiago Santos. Or Yuri Prok, uh, Prok, Prok, I can't pronounce his god name. Prokavka. I Some wish I Russian could see cat. it. <laughs> <laughs> another, another amazing Russian from Russia. Yes, another amazing Russian. I would <laughs> say this winner has one or two more fights before he gets up to that title shot. Okay. But fair. I think I think it's definitely, I think Anthony Smith needs to get it done so that way he can can get back into the title um, conversation. If if Jim Crew gets it done, man, he's he's passing up a lot of cats. Um, mm -hmm. And man, I did not realize the when the light heavyweight division just kind of got taken over by a bunch of uh, like Russians and Europeans. Good golly, I think they're body. big. I think they're just like tall, they're like you just know, big boys. Yeah, so that's, and girls, that's you have division. you have Yana Kunitskaya, yeah. yeah, your featherweight Good. still. Yeah, well, uh, I think it's going to be a good fight. I definitely think uh, just on bias, I think Anthony Smith gets it done. I don't think it's going to be in anything crazy fashion. I think Anthony Smith just gets it by decision. Um, you know, he's just an older older cat. He's he's well, well versed in fighting. He's got a better fight IQ, in my opinion. Um, but Crew might have that knockout power that I'm just unfamiliar with. So definitely wanted to check out. Sure. A any opinions on it? I mean, I, I think once you get up there, light heavyweight, heavyweight, it, it could be anyone's victory just because of, okay. you know, if you get caught. Um, so I'm going to predict Anthony Smith wins by knockout or, or okay. TKO uh, just okay. because, you know, I'm frankly, I'm not too familiar with the other fighter. So I'm just going based off what Fair I know, enough. but um, excited about that. And then the next one after that, is that Uriah Hall versus? That's the Uriah Hall uh, okay, one, absolutely. Okay. And it's so it's Uriah Hall versus um, Chris Weidman. Again? Chris Weidman. Chris Weidman. If I remember correctly, Chris Weidman, these guys fought um, like when in, in like New Jersey when they were uh, pre uh, um, not professionals yet. They're what are the what are they called? Amateur fighters. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. Oh. So, and if I remember correctly, Uriah Hall got absolutely bodied mm. um so it i mean there is definitely some bad blood there i think oh, it'll is be there? an interesting one didn't know I that i think so i don't know if it's necessarily black bad blood just the history just the history just the history you know what yeah. i mean it, yeah. it, it, 10 10 years later you're fighting this kid that you fought in like the local circuit uriah hall is ranked number nine chris weidman's 
number eleven. Chris Weidman's the former champ. Right. Uriah Hall was was in the in the title uh, conversation for a decent amount of time, and then he lost to who did he lose to? Till Was it Darren Till. Oh I my think god, I'm thinking the same. <laughs> I guess if we're both thinking it, it might be that might be. Yeah, it. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he recently lost, so he kind of got bumped out of that the that the, you know the the main contenders for the title fight. But Uriah Hall can crack. Mm. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So, <laughs> Why do and, I say he, so? He's from New Jersey. Why do I have it in my head that he's British? I'm getting Leon Edwards. Maybe I'm getting him confused. But Leon Edwards. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Uriah Hall is from up there, New Jersey, and around I, there. I think I what what I remember hearing about it is that it was it was in like, um, so his country is Jamaica. I I don't know what I heard is that they fought in like a local circuit in the New mm. Jersey, New York. New York area. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, there's, I don't imagine there's too much fighting going on in Jamaica. So it would make sense for Uriah Hall to make his way up sure. somewhere along the East Coast. So sure. I don't know. Chris Weidman is a little bit older, though. Yeah. What's your prediction? What is your prediction for this fight? <laughs> oh, <laughs> baby. Theo coming in a hot. Theo, don't you know what we're doing? We're talking about Chris Weidman. You can't interrupt a Chris Weidman conversation. Come on, son. Come on, son. Come on, boy. It's all good. He's just um, trying to get some love. He Throw is. Some love to Theo. He is. Um, let's see. Let's no, see. I think. Um, how old are they? Are they the same age? Chris Chris Hall. Oh my God! Why did I say that? Chris, because <laughs> it's Uriah Hall. Oh my God. Um, wow, they're actually both coming off of wins. Okay. Honestly, man, I'm I'm not too sure. I think this is like a low key fight of the night. Like like it on any other card this fight gets fight of the night mm. but because you've got the next three title fights afterwards it's just gonna be absolute bangers yeah. all, all around i think this uh i'm gonna give it up to uriah yeah i think the age advantage um chris weidman god he lost to someone within the last couple of years and it was like brutal was it a title shot who was it was it like Kelvin Gastel? No, 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 no. Yoel Romero. Oh my God. Oh he, my he God. Got, he got he murdered. Got, he got. He got yeah, actually murdered by Yoel Romero. I think yeah, that's who it was. Man. Yeah. So I'm going He's, to say Uriah Hall just because, yeah, just because of age. Um, you know the hunger. I mean. Chris Weidman's already been the champ. He's already beat Anderson Silva. I mean, that's that 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 might be more of a feather in your cap than being the champ, honestly. If you think about yeah. it. So. so, so just a quick thing. So Chris Weidman lost the belt to um, Luke Rockhold, mm -hmm. and then he got in that absolute murder by Yoel Romero. <laughs> then lost to Gegard Mousasi, beat Kelvin Gaslam, lost to Jack Ray Souza, lost to Dom Reyes, and then won against Omari Ak Akhmedov. Some young cat. So he's he's coming off a win, but two previous just like real real rough knockouts. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna give it to Uriah Hall. Man. Agreed. I I I it I, not taking anything away from Weidman again, former champ. The kids kids been in the game for a long time. I just think Uriah Hall is just gonna just gonna pull it off. Yes. Totally. All right. Uh, and that so, is going to be a nice setup for drum roll, please. -na -na -na, the first title bout, the great and powerful Valentina <laughs> Shevchenko, who has, as long as I've been watching the sport, she has had the title. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Right? So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she got it. Well, the the division was created. Um, the one twenty five division was created. What, like three years ago, something like that. So yeah, so I I know she. The last time she lost was against. Um, is my 
camera crooked? I can't tell. Whatever. Nunes? Hopefully not. Yeah, the last time she lost was against Amanda Nunez for the 135 belt, if I'm not mistaken. Right, and, and that's another one where a lot of people thought that she won, and she thinks that she won. A lot of people yeah, think that no, she won. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, so, I mean, she's she's just such a powerful fighter, man. She she absolutely murders it every time she gets into the cage. And And can I just say that Andrade is notably like – uh, oh God! What happened? Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Are you there? I'm here. Yeah. Okay. Hold hold on because just a second. You good? Sometimes my computer. Okay, it's it's so you might have to edit. We might have to jump back in here because my screen went to something else. It went like to my web. Browser. So you want to start at it's like? All um, it's all good. So we'll just pick it back up. Technical difficulties and bounce. Um, so Valentina Shevchenko, she has just been an absolute tear since getting into the game. Basically, uh, the last quote unquote loss was against, um, Nunes, Amanda Nunez. Yeah. very up in the air decision. It is what it is. Um, and she, I mean, she, she puts on a clinic every time she gets in the ring, man. Well, Just- and that's that's kind of what I was saying before we had our technical difficulties. Is <clears throat> Valentina is probably the most technical, one of the most te- technical fighters out there, and Andrade is known for throwing haymakers and just being, you know, being a, a, power, a right, power hitter, like a loose pit bull, just you know, whatever. Yeah. And so, so I. I really think, honestly, that Valentina. First of all, I think Valentina. If Valentina did get caught, did uh, get caught, did why can't I speak English? If, Val- <laughs> if, if Valentina gets caught, if yeah. Valentina gets caught with something, I think she can take it. She fought Amanda Nunes twice and arguably won once. So I don't think, yes. frankly, I don't think Andrade is much of a threat there. And then also. Again, Valentina is so technical. Andrade is known for throwing haymakers. Just if you think about styles make fights and matchups, I think this is a pretty bad matchup for Andrade and a really it's a tough one, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, let me look at the betting odds because I checked them out the other day. Uh, and it was it was so e- bad, dude. Uh, let's see. Like, oh, hoo hoo. So minus four hundred for Valentina Shevchenko, plus three hundred for Jessica Andrade. So three, four to one odds saying Valentina wins. Mm. And, and it's four to one odds across the board. Just like now, the last time Andrade, I don't know the last time. No, the last fight that Andrade had was Caitlin to Kate. No, no, no. Oh, I don't know. I don't know when she last fought. But you know she may uh, have see. improved. She's she may be improving. She may be more technical. We don't know. These are the things that make it interesting. I think it's been a while since she has fought. Um, let me see. She. What was her previous fight? Uh, Chukagan. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Uh, October seventeenth, twenty twenty. It was a it was a KO in the first round. So you know, like. Respectfully, respectfully, however, comma, you know, Chukagian versus, uh, if you're comparing Chukagian and Valentina, I mean, it's just, it's just not. It's, uh, no, it's, it's, it's nowhere near that level. No. Nowhere near that level. Uh, I, I, like you said, um, Shevchenko's got a goddamn chin on her, man. Mm-hmm. She can take some hits. And she's so Russian. It's all, the, all these Russians. Powerful, man. Yeah, so powerful, and and you know she, before that she lost her last two against Rose Thug Rose and Zhang Wei Li, so like she's she's not doing the best. Wait, are you talking about Andrade? 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 Yeah. Andrade beat Rose now. She no, she won. She beat her for the belt. Oh, okay. did they fight again? Yes. Oh. Then Zhang, yeah. So this is this how it goes. Rose and, and 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 Andrade fight. Andrade drops Rose on her head. Right. Then she fights Wei Li. Then she fights Wei Li. Then she Wei fights Wei Li. She gets bodied, and then 
they fight again in Andrade and Rose, and then Rose beats her. Okay. And okay. that's what puts Rose in the title fight, and that's why Andrade is actually going down a class to fight. Uh, excuse me, going up a class to fight. Um, uh, Shevchenko. Shevchenko. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't tracking on that other fight. Gosh. So yeah, that that makes it uh that makes it really interesting actually. Yeah. So I mean, it's definitely I definitely think it's like 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 this entire main card. It's a great fight. Um, if you're if it, if you're talking fight IQ, I think Shevchenko gets her uh, nine times out of ten. Uh, but Andrade can crack, man, and you know she she put Rose away, and I don't think anybody thought Rose was ever going to lose that fight. Um, so. It, it's gonna be an interesting one. I I got my money on Shevchenko though. Yeah, it's, I was, it's hard to bet against. I was about her. to it's say hard that. To bet against her, man. Yeah. It's hard. She's she's a badass. <laughs> oh my gosh. Theo, what you doing, darling? Oh, Theo, Theo, baby, Theo, baby. Hey, baby. He was like he was so about to go to sleep before we started, and then of course we start, and then he he's not. So that's how it goes, man. So are we really, are we really on the same boat with these first three fights? Yeah. Wait, what yeah, did you okay. say for you said Wait, no. for Valentina? I, I I say I say uh, Anthony Smith by decision. Uriah oh, Hall TKO. by knockout. Yeah, I, I say Uriah Hall by knockout, and I say Shevchenko by first round TKO. Knockout. Yeah. I don't know about first round. I might say second round. Just Less. because just because she can I th- I, I don't think Shevchenko's gonna She'll be patient a little bit away. more. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. she's gonna be patient. So I'm saying maybe second, mm. third round, she's gonna piece her up, let her let her kind of take her into the waters and then and then put her away. Okay. I definitely don't think it goes past the third. I would agree with that. Uh, I don't think it goes past the third, but I first round knockout. If she just lands clean, maybe, but I don't I think she's gonna I think she's gonna be real patient with this fight. Fair enough. Um Zhang Wei Lee. But you think but you think oh. first round knockout? I'm saying first round knockout because right. again, when you take some uh, she's so technical versus someone who's at least in, in her last fights has not been so technical. I don't feel like it would be I mean, Valentina, you know outclassed Yoani Young Jacek, another, you know, Muay Thai kickboxer. And it's like, I just doing the math and maybe of course it doesn't work like this, but it just, it stands to reason that unless she's afraid of getting caught and she's going to be patient, like you said, but then I think back to both fights with Amanda Nunes and I'm like, Amanda Nunes versus Andrade, the comparison there, I mean, come on. Which, uh, by yeah. the way, fun fact, I believe Amanda Nunes and Andrade have fought. And I think Andrade was beater. I think well, that was early in the career. Really? You think I Andrade? Because so. Andrade I, fought. Isn't that crazy? Andrade fought at 135 and 115. She's all over the place. It's impressive that she's been able to get all the, the weight. That's insane. That done. That's kind of insane. Last thing. Let, let's just see. Andrade versus... Nunez. Yeah, that's what I'm looking up to. At least I, I'm pretty sure that they fought before. I think so, man. I think this was was in her early days, mm-hmm. and Nunez, it, Nunez didn't have it f- quite figured out. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I can't find it, but um, it's I just feel YouTube like any things. way that it's like. Mm-hmm. Any way that you look at it, oh, well, what if Andrade takes her to the ground or gets on the ground? I still think Valentina. I mean, Valentina uh, beat Juliana Pena, what a 500 degree freaking black belt in Jiu Jitsu with an arm bar. Like, you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. I, I just feel yeah. like any way you slice it, like literally any way you slice it, I just feel like I'm it's. In. Yeah. I agree with you 100%. All right. Here we go. John Wei Lee and Thug Rose Nami Yunus. Ooh, so First excited. Off, Thug Rose might be my favorite nickname of any fighter. <laughs> it's my, my favorite too. It's Thug Rose and Bobby Knuckles. 
Like who's Bobby Knuckles? Robert Whitaker. Oh, like, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cute. I can't. I can't think like Bobby Knuckles. Bobby is Knuckles. Such a gangster name. Yeah. And Thug Rose, like she got that name, if I remember correctly, by DC when she won the title because and, and that that same that same fight on the weigh-ins, she was just uh, reciting um the lord's prayer what, and she had she did have that name before i will i can say that did she? Uh, okay. Thug Rose Namajunas. yeah i think you know she either she gave it to herself or you know her fi- longtime fiance whatever pat berry the heavyweight probably might have yes. had something but yeah um you know she's it's like how can you not ah oh, that was that was such a satisfying victory too i mean dude you know what i mean <laughs> to be honest so, to be honest so good um but, when have you yeah, seen man. by the way that is the only fight that i've seen that i've seen where someone tapped two strikes joanna tapped two strikes she was tapping i've never yeah. seen i've never seen uh another fight where someone tapped two strikes i just i thought that was notable i don't know if that says more about joanna the, or rose the only time i've seen it kind of is is i can't remember what fight it was um I, it, it it was like strike force or something like that um where the dude was just laying on the leg kicks mm, mm. so much so where like like he just couldn't like he just physically could not stand anymore he just went down and just like the ref was just like like they, they called it a tko because because homie couldn't stand um right, right. so but that's crazy that you want to because you talk, it's it's Yana and Jacek, right? Yeah, and and everyone was so surprised because she's a striker. Like you wouldn't think that, you know. Yeah. You just, you just, no, no, no. What, what I'm saying is that that's bananas. That Rose cracks that hard, and then Joanna fights Zhang Wei Li for the title, gets fight of the year, and just has one of the most gangster performances of all times, where these girls were just going at it throwing absolute bombs i mean joanna's entire forehead was a goddamn mm-hmm. hematoma mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. that was it's it's bananas to think that someone put joanna away with strikes mm. that wasn't the Zhang wei li fight <laughs> right that 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 makes rose scary when you think that about makes rose it terrifying rose man. put rose in the first fight with joanna rose tko'd her Right, and then in the in the rematch, which she won again, she out kickboxed the world the champion six time world yeah. champion. Yeah, and it's like, dude, and, and there is absolutely something to be said about her Buddhism, right? And she yes. shaved her head, and she let go of uh, doing makeup and hair and p- material things. She, uh, she, uh, she trains. She, she, she does these like. You know how people like uh, athletes get into ice baths because it has to do with yes. lactic acid. She does it just for the hell of it. She does it hell so yeah. that she's she's trained herself. This is according to her, to where you know you get in the shower, you turn on the cold water, and you or me, we would be like shocked, like the adrenaline. Yeah. But she's to the point where it doesn't uh, like have that effect on her so brain the, anymore. Yeah. So like so when she's in the fight, she's. She her adrenaline is not taking over to where it's this foggy yep. memory that's going to be a, a, a memory afterward. It's like she's totally fully like conscious. You know, do you know what in, I'm saying? She is so, yeah, she is. She is such a locked in fighter. It's so impressive. Anytime she steps in the ring, I have no idea how this fight's gonna go. I I'm don't know. so freaking excited for it, though, man. I'm so excited because. Zhang is terrifying. Oh my god! Because she was getting cracked by Joanna, and she just she was just like oop, eat him, mm, and then whatever. And Andrade, and Andrade, you know, Andrade is like they market her as like, and she is like super freaking tough and but like this freaking brick house, and it's like she handled like Zhang Weili like handled Andrade like it was nothing. You know what I mean? Ah, dude, it's it was it was such an like she is just came up so quick and so powerfully it's mm. it's it's amazing and there is and, a bit of uh, i don't want to say bad blood but there is a little bit of drama there i don't know if you heard about that 
No, I would say that's bad blood. Yeah? <laughs> I would say that's bad blood. Is that I bad think, blood? I think it's a little disingenuous for, for Rose to automatically mm-hmm. assume that she's a communist. That her in her because, personal capacity. Yes. But yeah. That like her personal beliefs are like that of communism because she is even if she wasn't she wouldn't be allowed to say otherwise or she would go disappeared right <laughs> like, her hands are tied yeah, a little bit there yeah her hands are tied on being able to say her true political to beliefs. be like no screw that i'm this 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 yeah yes. and then yeah she can't. she can't be like i believe in socialism <laughs> john way lee is no more like she gets disappeared by the government and maybe returns after three months um, she got in a car accident or something, right? I don't know, man. Maybe I'm. I'm just saying because, like, the there was a, a millionaire, uh, like one of the like top five millionaires in 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 China, started ru- like running his mouth talking about like that the Communist Party is a little sketch, and the Communist Party was like, cool, 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 cool. Homie disappeared for three months. <laughs> Okay, so it is kind of it, no, it's really messed up of Rose, yeah, to so, say you know because she because Jean Jean can't defend herself either way. So she can't, like, exactly, uh, but I also understand where Rose is coming from from her uh, from her cultural background, who uh, her family did uh, have to um, run away from the communist regime. It's also the same reason why Jorge Masvidal was a Trump supporter. Right. I you thought know? that was so like, weird that it's like, oh my God, we have Masvidal and Rose on this same card and there's this active bad blood about communism and then Jorge exactly, Masvidal man. is like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like Trump, you know what I'm saying? Like blah, blah, yeah. blah. It's so it's, weird. It's it's this weird thing where you have to acknowledge the history of, of where both of those fighters are coming from, where, yes. where their country came from. But... It's a little unfair for for Rose to just say that she is a communist Mm. because she can't say whether or not she is. So there's definitely some some bad blood there. There's definitely some added added elements of of motivation, if you will, um, on on both parties. You know what I mean? Um, I don't see this fight going to the ground. Yeah, I think they both, I think just how the Whaley Young Jacek fight played out, where they both were more comfortable striking, I think it'll be the same with this, frankly. So I think if if, if it does go to the ground, I think Rose controls it um, more just because she has such a high level of jiu jitsu. Um, But I definitely think she is going to. keep her distance and and let me let me see what's what's i feel like rose is taller i would like by a substantial amount i think rose is probably like five five or dang all the money yeah five five five, five. uh but john john is a a five four a rose got a 65 inch reach over 63 inch reach uh but she got some long legs she got 39.5 over 36 who who has the longer legs yeah 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 yeah. so rose definitely got the reach Mm. On on all accounts on Zhang, but ah man, what do you think? Does this fight does this fight end in a finish or does it go the distance? I think it's gonna go the distance, and I think uh, Zhang Weili is going to win. I, that I don't know. That's just the image I have in my head. I feel like R- Rose has admittedly had uh, issues with consistency. Like you were saying, like she's so in it, she's on her game. When she's on it, she's unstoppable. Yes. But she does deal with some mental issues that that can that prevent her from getting. That is but fair. I feel like speaking of the the communist thing and the in the China thing, you know, Wei Li probably isn't phased too much by you know she, she she might be mentally tougher or do you know what i'm saying like a yeah, little bit more dude. yeah so for that reason <laughs> i think man. i think way it, it'll go to um decision and i think way lee will will win i'm gonna i i I gotta believe in my girl rose i yeah. gotta believe in my girl rose so i'm i'm gonna go with rose because i think if Rose is turned on, 10 out of 10, comes in hot, I think she puts her away. I think if she, any, 
hitch in 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 the fighting, any hitch in the in the belief, I think Zhang puts her out. Yeah, all day. So I, I think the best Rose beats the best Zhang, but the the medium Zhang puts away anything other than the best. I I that that's kind of where my head's at. Yeah. Um, so so yeah. It's it's Rose's fight to lose is basically what it is, but it's gonna be a fun ass fight. I'm so excited. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> the one I'm most excited for. And so dun da 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 Yes. Here we go. Okay, first of all, wait. Let me just say, how perfect is it that this fight is happening in Florida with Masvidal oh, yeah. and and this is the first. Uh, th- okay, uh, we don't have to get into this if you don't want to, but this is going to be a full stadium. I think it's like 50,000 yeah. people or something like that. So it's very... I don't think it's 50. I think it's 20. 20 oh, yeah. That's, I'm thinking way too. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine 50,000 people. But, but oh, my we're God. hoping... I think the goal is to get uh, the Robert Whitaker uh, Israel Adesanya rematch in Australia. Put that in Marvel Stadium, and that they were supposed to do that previously, um, and that was going to be like 55, 60,000 people in there. Yeah, which is bananas. That's like a, a so- that would be like a soccer stadium size, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay yes, okay. that is full blown soccer stadium for a thirty by thirty foot octagon. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it. Like, when you think about be... it, it's yeah. But that would that that fight. <laughs> On a side note, that fight needs to happen. The the rematch out of Sonia Whitaker needs to happen in, in Australia. Australia. Yeah, it needs to. Oh my God, fight God, please! Make and it and the opening fights can be kangaroo boxing matches. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. Take it back to the ridiculous doom. Pride days where there's just all kinds of nonsense going on beforehand. Oof. Okay, so back to this one though. Back yes, to the main right. event. It's a big deal. It's a big deal that the fact that it's Masvidal, he's got home field advantage. It's in Florida. And, you know, the the entire conversation is based off the fact that the last time they fought, it was on seven days notice. Mm. Masvidal had to, had to cut 25 to 30 pounds. You know what I'm saying? He gets full fight camp. Yeah. And how many years ago was that, too? It's like, yeah. It was a year ago. Uh, it, oh, it was? It was a, it was it was almost almost to the date I believe it was one of the first um, uh, first fights uh, in, during quarantine. You know, um, fighters will always say something I've observed is fighters will be like, you know, it was on short notice, but that's no excuse. You know, anytime. To, but they're yeah. saying that so they don't. They're saying that so that they don't seem like. Uh, you know, like giving excuses after the fact, but we all know that, like you said, if you have to cut how much weight in how yeah. many days, that that is likely to affect your performance, and you haven't yeah. been training. So, uh, like you said, it'll be interesting to see, like having it done the right way. Now, you know what I mean? Yes, 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 yes. yes. And there's a lot of factors that go into this, man. You know, um, game bread, my boy Masra, he's been in the game for a long ass time, bro. He, he did the, the he game. did the uh what did he do the what's his name the the backyard Kimo slice he yes. with Kimo slice and that was in 2007 crazy and then he went, something like that 2007 2008 the early youtube days and then he was in strike force for a long time the boy's been around i mean he's 35 and 14 this is going to be his 50th fight <laughs> wait wait yeah man yeah. I didn't realize he had that many fights. That many fights. And let me let me double check his age. He's such uh, a youthful spirit. I didn't realize he was he had that many. It's because he's been yeah, it's just he, he's been in the game for what feels like forever. Mm. Mm. Gotta love it. Fastest fastest knockout in UFC history. Oh my god. Fastest like he has that. History. He has that. Um, he is, I mean, bad motherfucker yeah. title. He's he's got the BMF title. He he put away Nate Diaz in easy fashion. Um, the boy can crack. He's well, yeah, he did. I, I mean, it was a cut, but 
I don't know how you feel about that. A cut is I mean, a cut, though. Like, if you get a bad cut, that if it you know, impairs you that much, then I guess I it wasn't going to end much differently. Okay. <laughs> in my yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they yeah. ended it at the end of the third, but like, he was piecing him apart. It's kind of like, it's like, it's like people who are saying that the Ben Askren stoppage exactly. was easy. It's like, yeah, but you can see maybe where that was going. Like you know yeah, that that would have ended the same way. You know if, what I'm saying? If if if, if he if, yeah if 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 Ben Askren gets caught with a one two halfway through the first round, and he puts him on the on the canvas, it's not going to end any differently. Like it yeah. might just be in the <sighs> third round, but he's going to get cracked up. Speaking of full circle, Masvidal trained helped train uh, Jake Paul for this fight, and they're all like. Yeah. You know what? Uh, because you know the, because of the Ben Askren bad blood thing, so yep. it's all a all a big circle, whatever you so, want to call it. There. I don't know, man. Kamar Usman, he, he a bad man. Yeah. He 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 is a hell of a fighter. What is his? He, he's eighteen and one. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't lost since being in the UFC. I think he's on a nine fight win streak. Since being uh, set, uh, eight or nine fight win streak since being in the UFC, he I don't know, man. What is his background? If he's only had eighteen or nineteen MMA fights, is he uh, wrestling? I think he's wrestling. So yeah, he's a, this, listen to this, okay? Takedown accuracy forty seven percent for Camaro, fifty nine percent for Jorge. Mm. But here's the here's the one. Takedown defense, 77 for Masvidal, 100% for Kamara. This man has never been taken down. He's like the Khabib of the 170 division. Yes. <laughs> okay. The boy doesn't get taken down. Wow. If you look back to his last fight against Gilbert Burns, the one thing knocking against him is he got cracked in the first round, and he almost got put away. I'm not saying that... Masvidal hits harder than Burns, but I think he hits more and like he has got a better accuracy than Burns. The boy ain't afraid. The boy ain't afraid. He He's was gonna, and, he was and, fighting in those Miami, you know, those Miami streets. Miami street fights <laughs> in the grass on the half on grass, the pavement. Half concrete. <laughs> like he's he, bare knuckle. <laughs> Oh. He's not afraid to turn. Yeah. He's not afraid no, he's not. to turn it into. He's not afraid to turn it into fighting in a phone booth, and that's right. what he wants. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And 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 Kamaru's smart Bless enough you. fighter to know Bless that. <laughs> Cute ass little baby sneeze. Uh, <laughs> uh, Kamaru knows that he. It's a dumb move if he tries to fight in the phone booth with Masvidal. So I think his game plan is not going to be that much different uh, this time around as it was in the first fight. I think he puts him against the cage, leans on him, controls controls the waist, controls controls the wrestling aspect of it. If this fight makes it makes the distance, Kamaru got it in the bag. That if that that that's it, my prediction. Actually, is that it's going to go the distance and and he's going to win by decision. If it ends in a knockout, Masvidal got it. Right. That yeah. <sighs> so I think that Usman is going to need to kind of dampen the spice and the flavor and the Cuban, the Cuban. <laughs> hey, I'm not here. I'm showy. Look at me. Suavecito. And sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> Cause you know, never mind. Whatever. I feel you. I got you. I we got don't need you. to go down that road. But um, yeah, no. So he's gonna have to be like, nah, like, l- like he said, like, let me hold you here. Let me, you know. So mm-hmm. it's and, and I mean, like Khabib does with everyone. Like Khabib, exactly what Khabib did with McGregor. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you want to come out here yep. and be all flashy and you, you feel free and you you feel you feel ready? Well, let me like take up. What do they say? Take the wind out of your sails. Yeah. 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 He's going to yeah, take yeah. the wind out of his Cuban sails. That's what's going to happen. 100% going to take him out. That, yeah. That's his game plan. I think Masvidal is going to come out hot 
for the first two and a half minutes or so in each round, trying to put them away. Hold on, hold on. Doesn't My get... screen did that thing again. So start, say what you just said, start it over again. Cut, three, <laughs> two, one, cut. Uh, he said, um, uh, Mazadal is going to come out hot for the first like two and a half minutes or so. Um, just trying to put him away for the first two, two, three rounds. And I, if that doesn't happen, man, I don't, I don't know what the, the backup game plan is going to be. Um, cause like I said, if it goes to decision, there's no way Masvidal gets a decision. I mean, that's his entire reason for coming up with the, uh, a street Jesus, uh, baptizing people. Like he knows that he does not win decisions. So the only way he's getting getting dubs is if he puts the lights out on these kids. Even though it's in Florida, you you think? Even though it's in Florida, I Mm -hmm. I I think he just his track record just says that he doesn't win decisions, man. Yeah. Um, and and you know I think I think Kamaru is just a smart enough fighter to make it to where it lasts to decision, and if it does, Kamaru got it all day. Yeah, but I believe in my boy Jorge. I, I want him to win him. so bad. Yeah, I want Jorge to win, but I think Usman is going to. Smart money is on Kamaru. Fun money is on is on Jorge. Well, you know what? I think that we. I think that there's not much uh, to bet between us because I think we basically have the same We're predictions. Pretty even on it. Pretty yeah, even on it. I think the only two differences. Is really I, I'm gonna bet with my heart and not my brain, and and I so I got Rose and 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 uh, and Masvidal. Mm. You're smarter than I am, and you're going Jang I, and Kamaru. You gotta but, control that. You gotta control that. Uh, you know, I don't know. I just I, just, I, I, I believe I believe in both of their abilities to crack, and I think if they land the hits, I think they put them. They basically. They, they put them no, it's like when you think about those fighters, Rose, Jorge, people like that. It's like you can't ever count them out. You can't ever no. count them out, no matter who it is. It's just like they have that. They have that. It's like they're. It's like they're they're true fighters. I don't know. It's just like yeah, I could man. see them just like fighting outside of the profession of it. It's just they. Yeah, I'm getting all deep, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I no, agree no, with no, you no. there. Those, those, they'll, they'll fight. In front of twenty thousand people, and in front of fifty thousand people, or they'll fight in a backyard. That's it what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. They, yes, they love fighting, and they're and that's what they're great at. So that level of intensity is what I'm betting on. Is that mm. they they just have that grit. They have that that wherewithal to just throw down and put put on a great ass fight. It's gonna be a fun ass card. Yeah, I'm so dang excited for it. Yes. I got plans with my boys. Ah, uh, big gonna, boy. It's my birthday weekend. Uh, it's, ah. it's, my, it's my homie's birthday weekend. Yeah. So Wait, so is your birthday the 25th? The, uh, 6th. The 26th. Oh, okay. Yeah. So mine's on the 26th. My boys is on the 21st. So we're mm-hmm. meeting in the middle. That's Saturday, the 24th. We're going to go get dinner. We're going to go back to the crib, watch the fights. Then we're going to go out afterwards. Oh, so, you're going to go out after? Oh, yeah, man. Actually, that might work out because, you know, we're so used to these things happening in Vegas where it's like it's freaking 2 a.m. Exactly, over here. But exactly. it's like but actually this is on the, the East Coast. So that kind of works out. So for I you think there. I think I think it it starts at nine on Jacksonville. So that, I think that I believe that's, that's eight. eight. My time. Yes. So so if that's the case. It's done by midnight. I, I, I'm I'm out by midnight. So. Mm. And you, you don't have to work the next day. You don't got to work the next oh, day. Oh, we already know you're going to get crazy. So, I know you were hanging out with my girl, Stephanie. Yes. If you hanging uh, out with my girl, Stephanie, you know you're going to get crazy if you're hanging it, out it, with it Stephanie. A, it was a wild time. It was, was it? Time. It was, it was, it was <sighs> so good to see that girl. It was so good to see that girl, man. And and we definitely had a good time. You were missed. You were talking oh. about um same Which thing i'm with, always with, talked about anyway sorry go ahead sorry go ahead way was just here as well we talked about you with him um Yay. so we're Love. all these all these cats all these cats are waiting for you to come back to the homeland show some love the homeland i know dude two. now we're representing but, like we're representing because i got my bucky's on hey. and in my baby <laughs> look, look what he's got hold on he says hey. i still live with my parents 
I still live with my parents, little bobcat. Do you still live with your parents, buddy? That's beautiful. Oh, man. Yeah, so we're missing Texas. No, man. I get you. Yeah, for sure. Uh, other than that, man, everything living well. I know we, we try to keep it quick. We want to burn through this thing, but you living well? Everything straight up there in in Virginia? No. Virginia, yes. yeah, Virginia. Virginia. Yes, it's fast paced. It's crazy. Oh my god, you know, I just, I'm doing fine, but I will say, I really miss Texas. I miss the quietness. I feel you, man. It's. It, I can just say this, and people can put two and two together and figure this out. But something monumental happened today, maybe like yep. three hours ago. If that had gone a different way, this area here would be on fire, like quite literally. Yeah. And so yep. it's very much that way in, in a lot of ways. And so I kind of, I, I just miss the smaller town, kind of like safer feel. It's just not um, having to stress out about stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, there, there was yeah, a, uh, there was blood in uh, our mail room, like a couple months ago, like splattered oh blood. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just saying, whatever, uh, maybe don't do right. that part. <laughs> No, nah, man, we, we, you know, we keep it real out here, so we it do, is what yeah. it is, man, but um, as always, man, it's always a great time. Likewise. Getting to chat with you about fights. Um, hopefully next time we can plan it a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, this was kind of but, off the handle, know, but we had to do something. We, even if it was 10 it. minutes, we have to do had something to do for it, this. This had is a it. huge card. Oh, my gosh. So exciting. So I'm excited. If, if all goes well, this episode actually drop will drop on Friday. Mm. So the day before the fights. So um, I will if I will make sure to uh, uh, what's it called? Let me know. Uh, put the predictions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. So I'll post it. I'll tag you and all that. No, no, no. But just like we did last time, yes. I'll make the predictions. Yeah. I'll put mine against yours. Yes. And then we'll see who gets it. And then Starbucks again. Yeah, let's do the PayPal <laughs> thing. I mean, I don't. I don't even think I've cashed out your the money that's in the paypal i need to hey man well maybe you just send it back to me no i didn't even say that <laughs> i just don't claim it and then we're even no <laughs> no but we can do it again we can do the same amount yeah, man. and same then amount. and then wait we did 1.4 if we get the winner right and then one point yes. if we get the method right yes okay and that's so 10 points 10 points total yeah, ten total for the five, five. Okay. So, so we'll see. We'll see who's the closest. And uh, just be be real clear and concise. I'll run it down on my side. Run it down on your side. So go ahead and go. Let me do it real quick. So from the to bottom the up, Anthony Smith by knockout. I'm not going to give okay. a round because I don't think you think he's going to win by knockout. So Anthony yeah, Smith by knockout. Uh, Uriah Hall by knockout. Did you also have Uriah Hall as a knockout? I think Uriah Hall as a knockout as well. Okay, I'm going to say, I guess we could be more specific than I'm going to say round one. Okay. Okay, uh, and then Shevchenko, knockout round one. Um, Zhang Wei Li by decision, and Usman by decision. Now your turn. Okay. Uh, I got Anthony Smith uh, by decision. I'm going to go Uriah Hall, knockout in the third now if you if you thought first i don't want to take that away from you if you think he's gonna knock him no, out no, 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 no. okay you I actually I, think. again i i, I think okay, okay okay i think i think weidman has got enough of a chin okay. to last that long so i'm thinking i'm thinking hall you're right hall third round knockout uh shevchenko's second round knockout yeah uh rose by knockout, since he said decision, I'm just going to go blanket knockout. Okay, um, right. And then I'll go Masvidal blanket knockout as well. Dang. So, oh, my God. I'm, ex <laughs> I'm expecting knockouts for days, baby. I'm expecting knockouts against you know, everybody. Hopefully yeah. it happens. There are those cards where it's just like knockout, 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 yeah, knockout. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, so. I, I – Either way, I think all of us win. It's a great fight card. I hope you get to check it out. I'm definitely going to be checking it out. Yes. Um, always a pleasure, girl. Likewise. Everybody that rocked with us until the end. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I hope you guys love fighting as much as we do. Hell yeah. Uh, 
regardless, we're going to talk about fighting because that's what we like. So that's what we do. <laughs> you guys. We're, we're a bunch of with us. eight brains. You know, we don't know any better. So amen. That's what I we like get for all the drinking man. we did at Texas State. Now we have about <laughs> we have two brain cells left. This is what we're doing with them. Hey, sorry. <laughs> hey, it is what it is, man. Uh, we break down fights and we drink. We drink excessively. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> put that on my tombstone. Yep. <laughs> Catherine with that 1992 to 2021 talked about fighting, uh, drank a little bit too much. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, is what it is. Baby. <laughs> I appreciate you, girl. Appreciate everybody that rocked us all the way into the end. Y'all be easy. Yes, thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>